Hello, hello, hello everyone, we're now live. We're gonna be playing some more Song of Horror today. Hopefully finishing up episode four. Um, we left off trying to do this tentacle puzzle thing. This weird at sewer monster. I don't know what to call it. But we're gonna hop right into it. Hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful. Hello, cuties. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello. My name is Ren. I hope you stick around. I am a small content creator, so please consider liking and following. It really helps a strong, small streamer like me out. And let's pull up the game. Boopity boopity boop. Oh my god. Streamlabs. Oh my god. It didn't save any of the progress we made. So I still have to do this whole tentacle puzzle thing over again. Lovely. Also, there's only two people left. I just remember that. Fuck. Well, I hope the future next chapter has more people. You press the wrong lever, we're all fucked, I know. Um, I think this is that one. No. Close this gate before I can open it. Well, fuck. There we go. Then that should move there, and then I'm gonna have to fucking figure out how to do that. Walk it back in that motherfucker. Uh. How the fuck do I close this one? Maybe like this? Oh. I thought it was actually gonna tell me something useful. What the fuck am I doing? Can I get out? Can I get out this way? How do I open this door? Wait, no. No, because I'm going to have to press this lever. I'm going to have to press that middle lever. Alright. I have to... I might get this one back open. That's not it. Okay, this one. This middle one. This is the middle one, right? Yeah, we need that open. There we go. Uh, now? Close this. I think. I think we close that. And then, which one does this do? Let's suck it. I should be able to open that and get them in the middle. That doesn't get him in the middle. Uh, 
the fuck do I get him in the middle? This? Okay, he should be in the center now. And can I go this way? Oh my god, I can get out. Can get out. Yes. Please tell me this is it. Please tell me this is it. Oh my god, did I do it? Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I fucking did it. Let's go. Get the fuck out of there. Get out of there quick. My Boston accent's coming out. Get out of there. And now I'm in a church. Ah, uh, here's the church. I hope the trip here was worth it. It probably wasn't. Bibles and other sick mass. Oh, also, what do we have for inventory? Oh, was oxidizing solution broken. Treasure's confession? Mm -hmm. That's like the second confession we have. Oh. Do we have another confession? Oh, we had what's his face's confession. Confessions from the librarian. Or no, I thought we had um Sebastian? Was it? Waste your time. You won't be able to open that door. Uh huh. I don't know who Mr. Neuer is. Oh, Daniel. Just realized that was the entrance we were trying to get into the entire time. I'm scared if I go to the center, there's going to be something in, like, the altar. Treasurer's Bible. Nothing is true. We are alone. Alone and lost in the universe. There is no God, for there is nothing. God is but dust and dreams compared to the darkness I see. Fucking depressing. The devil is a child's fantasy. Hell is a parody. <laughs> Jesus. Please take, make this stop no matter what it takes. The Treasurer's Bible. Well then, that's fucking dark. Oh, they moved you to some. Okay. What do I hear? Like a gnawing sound. What the actual fuck is going on here? Get nothing. 
this way. Don't people are on this, this cables up. Can't read them. Wait, what? It has a slit to write. Most written confessions. Oh. This one? Um, a tarot card, the door, fucking creepy, but okay. Can we go in there and confess? No. That, I think it's that thing hanging over there, but it sounds like breathing and it's really creeping me out. This was caused by an explosion. Lovely. Uh. Oh, is that is that the incense burner? No? The one that guy hit his key in? Okay. I thought it was one giant incense burner. My parent. Great, hiding spot. Never foreboding at all. I've seen this destruction before when I was a child, one in 1940. My family lived there, my brother didn't make it. We returned to Iowa after the war. Oh, it's fucking dark. James, where is this in Fallen? No. Oh, fuck. Not on I said. Go. Ah, gotcha. It's into the chapter house. Um, don't know what those question marks are. The question mark for that one is the grenade. Um, old cloister one. I don't know what that one is. I think I have the key for that scriptorium now. But I don't know. I have the... No, the only one I have is the Onet key. Lock? Getting a. Don't have a bronze key. Sometimes I like to check an item twice just in case I miss something. And that's actually an interactable item I can use something on. See, there's something about just entering a room and immediately seeing Jesus that kind of makes me creep out. Vile Witness Diary. Registered account of the musician who played at the concert. 
I haven't had a drink since we arrived. I doubt that's the cause of what happen what's happening to me, although I could sure use a good tonic that cursed melody. Wolfgang found the score in a library amongst old scrolls and manuscripts from the ancient city of... Byzant Byzantium? I have horrible pronunciation. That he shouldn't have been pursuing in the first place. It was written in... Alsic? The notation system... And now these dimwits knew how to read it. I had to transcribe it. And the usual slav so we can include it on our repertoire. It's an easy melody, uncanny, hard to get out of one head. Every time I rehearsed on my own, it feels disturbing. Dots I don't care to convince confess Dots I don't care to confess start crossing my mind. And I feel a deep sense of unease. And every time I grab my violin, I play the song again. In the group rehearsals, these effects seem to multiply. And although none of us will admit it, I can see the uh, restlessness in their eyes. I fear both fear and curiosity thinking of the concert, of our joint performance of the moment when the voices of the monks will invade the church halls. Great. My ex-wife used to play the violin. Telescope and a glove. Oh, it's just painting again. Don't recognize it. Something on the hip wall. Extra grab. <laughs> a metal piece, a rusty spare part that belongs to some tool. <laughs> Seems like a part. The part of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, how'd that get here? What the fuck am I gonna ne need this thing? I, I carved a hole in someone's chest with this. How am I gonna use this for again? Oh. oh, that made me think it was an interactable. Oh. forward to this. Let's go. Um. I want to go see if I can use that saddle thing on the hatch out here. This? Um. Oh! This! Oh. I can grab the key, don't. Please don't lose your hand. Please don't lose your hand. Please don't lose your hand. Please don't die. Oh, thank God. Fucking close it. A bronze key. Oh, it's a bronze key. So I have the bronze key, which means I can get into that room near the ballista. There's also the scriptorium room. Um, there's something that I can use in- Do I have anything that needs to go in the furnace? Deoxidizing solution, maybe? I don't know. Oh shit, I can't get in this way. I don't like going into this room because that's usually where that creepy guy is. I need to go downwards. It's 
this one, right? Oh, I went the wrong way. It's the other side. Yeah, I'm stupid. Let's go. I don't like these rooms. No. Oh, sure, is this one? No, it's not. What am I supposed to do with the crank now? Please tell me I didn't come over here for nothing. I came over here for nothing. Let's go this way. <laughs> Fuck, that's horrifying. Honestly, the one that creeps me out most is honestly that kind of, um... Shit, what is it called? The mirror one. Let's go. I don't remember what key I need for this. Flip ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Scriptorium, and then I think I need to go... Either that to that room or through the gate guard. After this. Please, for the love of God, nothing be in here. Key. Mm -hmm. oh, valuable in their day, but now got up in the second. Oh, there's another door here. Have I been in this room? <gasps> Notes on botanicals. <laughs> Partial instructions on how to make a natural deoxidizer. Fuck you. There you have it. Oh yeah, why would you put candles right next to a book like that? Oh. Fuck. Okay. Alright, looks like I have to go back through the chapter house. Oh Christ. Ha! 
Oh my god, get the fuck out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, what the fuck? So I have to go this way, and then I have to go... At every fucking floor. I have to go... Back through the... The refractory, or whatever it's called. And then I have to go through the chapter house. I hated whatever the fuck that just was. Just go straight through, just go straight through, just go straight through. I'm always afraid the blind man's gonna come in here. here can't tell if he's like clutching his heart or he's just cold like are you gonna have a heart attack please don't have a heart attack Pull up the map every two seconds just to make sure I go into the right room because I don't want to deal with any randomized event like that. What do I do? What do I do? You okay? We good? Oh, good lord. Oh, thank God it's all. Oh, my God. Oh. Shit. Wrong key. Uh huh. Oh, something else needs to be open with this? Fuck me, he's also in trouble with this. Oh, whatever is that key back there. Oh, that's where I put the gear, I think. I don't know what this is gonna do though. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay, what is it? What is it moving now? <sighs> the one in the ballista, maybe? <laughs> He was going to say something and it totally cancelled out. I'm assuming it was something in here, right? Yeah, since it's burner. I was right. Alright, I only need two more. Though I don't know where the other ones could be. I'm gonna say I'm in the graveyard. Which means I have to get back into the chapter house.
What is with the shaking? I can't even check my map. Nothing's interactable. What the hell? Good thing the building is robot. Is it? So what the hell is causing that? I have that gate, but I also have this, but I think we should get the gate first because it's closest. The gate, and then I'm guessing we use that thing. Right, I remember there's one in the graveyard and the way the And an empty sarcophagus, he said. I don't know. I don't remember what note it was. One of these damn notes. Just like in the good. I'm guessing it's the one being pointed out, right? This way. Something that way. Guessing this is the bronze key. Looks like it would be the wrong that key, right? Yep. Okay, that was the final thing I need with that key. Oh fuck. What's happening? Oh, that's the blind dude that chases after you. Don't figure a sculpture. Uh -huh. I could kill someone with this thing. Please don't. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, come on, please. Alright, we're not touching that fucking Mother Mary thing again. Dear Lord, all 
almost didn't make it. The Abbot, I presume. Oh, I think the final... Let's see. the one who had the key that's the door that everyone gets stuck behind mm -hmm. I'm assuming if you pick up the wrong one it triggers Abbott's diary. I ordered that all the musical scores be burnt. We place candles and lamps in each cell to no avail, for the howling has not ceased. Like kind of penances as what was our sin? We did nothing but sing. Three days late, four days later, if something should happen to me, the key would be safe. No one must find it. I shall entrust it to Our Lady of Candles. What the fuck is Our Lady of Candles? Must you? <sighs> December 8th. Must do everything. I'm starting to lose my line. Walked up in here. Every corner looks threatening. And every flicker of the candle makes me fear the darkness. And what works in its deep? The brothers have about asked about Arnito, the man you murdered. Victorino and my. But I don't remember if I can recall a thing. When I close my eyes, I see gruesome forms. Writhing in the dark, what is happening to me? December 11th. Three days later, an effigy. Be worshipped, penance to save us all. For those who may still, still find salvation. An idol made with her own being, with her own immortal soul. So I'm not looking for a wooden one? Or a... Bone idol? Maybe? You don't understand this penance. They can't say it's our only path to salvation if there could be such a thing. A legible date. No, they can't be. I must have faced. Inscrutable are the ways of the Lord. A legible date. In the dark corner of my room, I feel his gaze. When he gaze upon me, I feel him drawing near when, I, when the candles blow out. I can't see, but I know he is there calling me, calling all of us. I must heed his come. Come, my sons. Come and share the... Petalific vision? Let us bathe our souls in the dark light of the Holy Spirit and behold in all its glory and the horrible beauty of God. What the fuck? How can there be so many lunatics in the Oh the rum, maybe? I don't think it's that one. Ah! I'm assuming it's Holy that one. Mother of God. What is this madness? <sighs> no. Wax, don't think it's that. Uh, fuck. Uh, I don't have that many characters left. <sighs> I need to take a moment. <laughs> I need to debate whether or not should I do it. And honestly, I'm debating whether or not I should look up a quest 
the question if I should touch it or not. And I think the answer is going to be have to yes, be yes, because I only have one more character after this. So I think I'm going to have to look up a guide. Because I am terrified of grabbing that. This witch effigy. I'm assuming it's the one that I'm standing in front of. I don't even want to know. I have to like go to all the way down to the bottom of this goddamn. This is such a long episode too. I think this is the longest episode so far. It's the wax one. And this is safe to what touch. The hell? This is safe to touch. As creepy as it may be. And we take the wax. Uh, uh. Oh, wait. Ah, uh. uh. uh, you can see the key. Oh, is this what you use the thing on? Oh. Something inside this figure. That's what you melt in oven. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. I learned my lesson. I'm not touching anything else. I'm fucking out. Oh. I hated everything about that. Alright, we need to go to the oven so we can get the final fucking key. And open that door. Okay, I take a right. No! No. I, no. There's nothing on the map. I'm not. No. I have my key. I'm going. Bye. That is definitely a death trap. Like, come in! Come in! No. I say fuck no. There you go.
Also, I really hope getting all the keys is the end of the chapter. Because I swear to God, if it's more, I'm gonna cry. This way. It's this way. Put that shit in the fucking oven. Use this fucking motherfucker on it. Let's go. Give me my goddamn key so I can get the hell out of here. Oh, you can do that with your feet? I thought you were supposed to do that with your hands. I guess you could do it maybe either way. How are you gonna grab that key? Can you take that key, like, straight up from me? Treasure within. Uh. Oh, it's actually. Oh, it's fading. It's okay. It's fading. I was gonna say. I was like, why would you grab that right away? Though I don't think it would cool down that fast. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Like, I'm so ready to, like, be done with this chapter. This one has horrified me the most. I thought it couldn't get worse than those fucking hands in chapter... ...two. Chapter 3 was just felt like bullshit. Chapter 3 had those like, I didn't have a hiding place yet, so you're gonna kill me. Like, if you haven't discovered one hiding space, I think the game shouldn't do a randomized event like that. And then I had that horrible library puzzle. The library puzzle is probably the worst. Fucking go through. I can't skip it this time. Normally you can skip that. Which made me think my character was either gonna see something or die. I still have deoxidizing solution. Why do I still have that? I mean, I'm assuming Bitch, we all have. Oh, well. All right. Please, find Sebastian. Well, technically speaking, only Daniel's been in, but like... So it was the same character that in episode one. Elena went in there. So now something kills me here, and I'm fucked. Please, for the love of God. Hasha has to be in here. It's time to put an end to this nightmare. No. 
Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? What in the fucking hell? What the hell is happening? Oh God, Mr. Husher? Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 Mr. Husher! Oh, no! 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 Sebastian! Oh shit! Fuck! Oh, he's dead! Oh, oh great! Fuck. Same place, the same room. What's happening? <gasps> Been dead for days. Great. Yeah, let's fucking leave. Uh, Bitch. What? No. Where the hell am I? H Hello. Bitch. What? Diary of August Legrand. Diary of August Legrand. I know that face. I've seen it in my nightmares. What is that? Well, I have to fully. It wants me to leave. What the hell? Elsewhere? Oh, for fuck's sake. Can we stop being so cryptid? Damn it. It won't open. Had to go in, Daniel. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! For fuck's Holy sake. Shit. This can't be happening. I must be seeing things. Oh shit, Dan. Wake the fuck up, man. That's always lovely. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> this one only has an interact button. Oh look, is it another mirror? Mm -mm. Wait, did I just teleport backwards? I think I know what's happening. You go into the door with the mirror and you go you go all the way back. Do you have to ignore? That's the one. the same exact door. No. The fuck? Is it just looping me? Oh, 
happens if I go the other way? What is this place? This damn hole never ends. So fucking bizarre. No matter how much I walk, this hall is leading me nowhere. And every time these doors are locked. Finally, something different. Was just happening. Oh, Mr. Neuer, are you all right? Did you find Sebastian? Mr. Finnegan, I. Sebastian is dead. What? Oh my God! How? I'm sorry. I. Shit. Let's get out of here, please. I don't have much time. Sebastian. Wait. What do you mean you don't have much time? He said the same thing. On his way here. Yeah. And I, Jesus, if only I'd paid more attention, if only I'd done something. It's not your fault. I don't think there's anything you could have done, really. Maybe. But maybe I can do something for you. Thanks. All I need right now is to get out of here. On our way, then. We spent hours looking for the others, but found nothing. Nothing but lost tracks in the snow and fading footprints. And yet Damn. the signs were there. Deep down, a part of me already knew there was nothing left but unanswered questions and sheer darkness. <laughs> Husha died in there, trapped. Yep. He probably struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that God forsaken place like me only in his case nobody got there in time I imagine he thought that there was a quicker way to go the same way that father chose and maybe I would have done the same in his place what I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much is this what lies ahead maybe I already know it but I'm trying to hide it from myself. No. Maybe deep down, I know it's a hideous omen of what the future has in store for me. Maybe I know that, like everyone who's come across that cursed box, I too will take my own life. That I would rather surrender to death than face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal... Or can we just ask the woman who took the music box back? Why haven't we? What about Ariadne? She's alive. What if only the box can stop this? I can't destroy it without knowing for sure. Maybe there's something in Legrand's diary. Oh God, I need to rest and gather my thoughts. I need to sleep. I can only hope the nightmares won't be as horrible as real life. Doubtful. Ooh. Took us an hour. But we are on the final chapter. So let's start it. In just a second. Had to answer a text message? Okay. Let's start chapter one. Or chapter <laughs> chapter one. Let us start chapter five. 
Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> What's... Husha died in there. Yep. Trapped. We're gonna have to watch the re same thing again. They struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that godforsaken place. Like me, only in his case, nobody got there in time. I imagine that there was a quicker way to go. The same way that father chose. And maybe I would have done the same in his place. What I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much. Is this what lies ahead? Maybe I already know it, but I'm trying to hide it from myself. Maybe deep down, I know it's a hideous omen of what the future has in store for me. Maybe I know that, like everyone who's come across that cursed box, I too will take my own life. That I'm God, to surrender to this is death, fucked. Then face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal melody. I should burn that thing, make that melody vanish from the face of the earth. But what about Ariadne? I've been saying this since like chapter two. Or chapter three. I can't destroy it without knowing for sure. Whatever chapter we gave her to her. Is it gonna what you sleep? Hope the nightmares won't be as horrible as real life. Time is passing us by. Time is passing by us a lot. Oh, fuck off. What? Oh, fuck this. The hell was that? That, place, that melody. God, I need to find something. There must be something here. Father, Husha, every single person who attended that cursed concert in the Abbey, the entire Legrand Amersburg family and I, we all heard the song. Argos Legrand's diary, mm -hmm. which I found in that place beyond reality, was my only hope of unveiling something, anything, that could take me down a different path than the rest. Is that Ad and yet, Legrand's Ad whatever her name is, Adrien, her and her mother maybe? The little girl writing that no one could put them together in any order, much less understand them. Oh, great. But I found something towards the end that made some kind of sense, although I wish I hadn't. It's all over. Just a moment ago, I like every night, the song was invading my dreams, grating incessantly. I woke up soaked in sweat and veiled by the shadows natalie was sleeping but i was not this time it had to stop i was hell-bent on destroying the source of that awful song mm -hmm. i went down to the basement and tore down the same wall i built myself with each blow i cursed the moment i decided to bring that melody into my home i couldn't take it any longer there she was, behind the wall. My wife, huddled in a corner, holding Elaine in her arms. What? I froze. If Natalie was there, what kind of diabolical creature was sleeping by my side? Monsters. All of them. My beloved Elaine, Natalie. The monsters had locked them away and wanted to take Ariadne. They wanted to take my baby. I grasped the mallet, determined to do whatever it took. I would not allow those fiends to take my daughter, not without a fight. They, oh. The day they tried to harm my family, 
I'm guessing they were his family. Kill the monsters and the black figure and find my little girl. I followed them throughout the house. Every room was shrouded in darkness. There was something unnatural in the air. The melody had transformed into a choir of black curling howls. But I finally cornered them in the bedroom, where I finished them off. I drew blood, and it flowed like a well from the grotesque black figures while they screamed and writhed, the vile, deceitful fiends. And then, I went back to the basement, and there was nobody there. Natalie and Elaine had disappeared. No. That isn't true. They had not disappeared. Yeah, that's what I thought. They had never been down there. They were upstairs. In the bedroom. Where I had left them. There were no monsters in the house. Except me. I had a feeling. Me. It's causing illusions. Horrible song. Oh my God, it ends like this. Wait, what is this? Jeremy Hartwood Mental Hospital, 1920. Psychiatric analysis and treatment of patient Ariadne Legrand Amsberg, Dr. Berenice Prestigard. Christ, I can barely stand it. I'm assuming Berenice is the I really need help with this. creepy, like, woman with no mouth we found. Fuck is Lydia. They're all dead. <gasps> oh, that's what happens. Uh I guess all we have is Lydia. Daniel will only send one person to the Jeremy w Mental Hospital due to Lydia. I don't have a choice. Lydia, guess what? I need your help. I know, I know. I I'm, I'm very sorry for calling this late, but listen. I found something. It's only a small lead, but it mentions everything. And has the Jeremy Hartwood Hospital stamp on it. Yeah, that's the one. I, I, I know it's a bit far, but I, I think someone there, a Dr. Berenice Prestigard, read this diary years mm. ago and looked into this madness way before we ever did. It says 1920. There must be something left of her research. What year is it supposed to be? If I'm not mistaken, the hospital was abandoned shortly after World War I. So maybe everything is still there. Oh the God! Notes, the files, something. No, no. I think, I think I'm running out of time. I feel bloody exhausted. I can no longer tell the difference between reality and my hallucinations. I need you to look for something, anything, and call me. I know it's a lot to ask, but I don't want to end up like the rest. And something tells me I should visit Ariadne one last time. Oh. Yeah, take your cell and call me if you find anything. As soon as I find out what Dr. Prestigard was investigating, I'll drive over to the Grant Amersberg mansion. Yeah, good luck to you two. And thanks. Hmm. 
Lydia. I don't think we've ever seen this character. I think it might be the one female character that we only saw in the cutscenes at the beginning. And then, like, never saw again. So he only sends one person to hospital. So if you die in the hospital, do you completely lose the game? Or have to completely restart no matter who died? I'm guessing they kept it that way just... Just so the fact that most people would probably get everyone killed. Ah, oh, we've seen this before. Damn it. I hate it. I hate when it does that. Off. God. Huh. So I have to find the rope. Okay. I'm guessing it's going to be a combination of everything we've faced so far. Hair or I have a fucking tooth. Then the documents. Kind of no point in listening, it's the only way to get in. Doubt they would put something behind it. The horror and the song. space already, which is good. Get that right off the bat, so we don't have a Claire situation. Already here. <laughs> Staper on the side of the glass. So maybe nothing is gonna let me get in there. Actually, go this way. But I, however, cannot, I'm assuming, go in that room. Not that way. Walk from the other side. How's that possible? I'm assuming we're gonna have to get something to grab that stapler. notice or describing hospital works the dismantling has terminated work isn't done but we're not going to stay here just a single moment longer than we have to two of the teams have refused to return to the east wing and 
Ezek and his boy tied a thick cable around one of the fridge doors. I gotta find the fridge door. To keep it sealed, they don't want to open it even though the scores of tools and kitchen utensils are back there. Along with a couple of high quality chest freezers in perfect condition. Um, that's not the first problem we've had, but the solution has gone too far. Before I almost leave, I don't blame this place. This place make my hair stand on end, and I've been inside for less time than any of them. There are still so many things of value in there: typewriters, radios, luxury tree furniture. It doesn't matter. As soon as Mills team returns, we're leaving. I hope they don't. Tari, Harry, or uh, Nightfall is going to catch on to us here. I wonder what the hell is taking so long. I hope I don't want to go and to look for them. I'm blaming on the table. Oh. An old photo torn to pieces. We should put back together. What do I do with this? Hmm. I'll always start with the corner pieces first. Put this there. The side piece. I mean, that's a very, very corner. This looks like maybe... Um, just there. Yeah, this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that doesn't match up either. That's how they tell what that is. That's a torso. Tired piece. It's the other half of that guy's face. I think.
sure there's like a light on it, I can't tell, or like some coloration. Possible to what pieces these are. These pieces I think are right. I think that's how this goes? Uh, maybe not. Oh. It's an edge. Hmm. Here's how this goes now. Looks like blood. Is this upside down? Maybe? Hmm. This is definitely goes this way. It makes sense if we... Assuming this is a middle piece. Honestly, wish I could just hover my mouse over the ones I want. Got this. This is a middle piece. Oh my god, can I just hover my fucking mouse over? That's how that goes. No. This looks like a very bottom piece. Fuck. Can't tell what that is. That's missing too much face. Hmm. God damn it. I think this photo is more than it seems. I'm assuming it is, but I don't have enough for that. I don't have enough information. Also, my phone is dying, so I have to be right back, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to reach yet. Grab my charger. Oh, I love how I put it on the wrong screen. Hello, everyone. Totally meant to put that on the be right back screen. Uh. 
Okay. We'll explore the rest of the dining hall. Esther Esteringo? Thank you for the follow. Hello. How are you doing, lovely? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate the follow. Okay, I don't know. SD is fine. Thanks. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. And thank you for the follow. Maybe we have a friend. in this canteen. Hope you're doing well today. What? Is there a way to be for me to get behind the bar? Or there? Yeah. Just your instruments. Yeah, it's a mental hospital. Why do they have serving alcohol here? Never seen this game before. It is horrifying to say the least. Uh, it plays similarly to Resident Evil, except you cannot fight back at all. And there's a lot more puzzles. The puzzle, I believe the puzzle, honestly, in my opinion, are a bit harder than Resident Evil's. I love that. Yes, it is very fun. It's also indie, so it's fantastic. Pretty cheap, too. Um, I don't know where to go. Holly 3D, I like the graphics on this already. Sweet. Oh, you guys know each other! Um, what the hell? These money small burners and several large ones. Judging by the size of that sink, they use don't use large pots. Probably not. Oh no, just being friendly. Oh, I can f can't find an art book on Amazon. Oh, you guys are already being so cute. Greeting people. Put the closet and open. Hiding would be another hiding space. Um. Mm-hmm. Nice. They come handy, but the bad shape does just probably just fall apart. Take the knife anyway, please. You gotta check, f f like, before you go into rooms for sounds, because if there's sounds on the other side, that means you're gonna die instantly. The main concept of this game, for the most part, has been, um, you get four characters per chapter, except for chapter four, or chapter three, you only get three in that one. And you basically go through the ca characters, if one dies, they're gone from the story, they can't be used again. I want to use this cable to make sure that Hannah won't move. Um, crazy you can't fight back no you can't fight back and if your character dies uh, you have to move on to the next character and if all four characters die you have to restart the entire chapter so I don't care it doesn't matter if you were like five minutes away from like the end of the game if you die that's it or all of them yeah it's it's hard Brutal. Um, I don't want to undo that fridge thing just yet because normally the ones with question marks get us killed. Should I take this drawing and save for my collection later? Yes. Oh! We know her. We're actually on the final chapter currently. There are five chapters. All of them are about two hours long. 
two or three hours long with puzzles. Um, took us a while to get here. Okay, I remember what happened here. Father kills wife and daughter. A masterpiece for sure. Let's put that on the fridge. It's okay, there's no one to put it up on the fridge. Her parents are dead. And again. Listen to the door. Oh god. Do I have to do this? Here's the question. Most of these question warrants are like tricks to get you killed. And you only get one character for this chapter. For the final chapter, you only get one character. If I fuck up... It's gonna fucking fall on my head, isn't it? No! Oh, thank god. Go run! Go, you better fucking run. Hooks and rope, not good. No. Girl, you better fucking run. Do not, do not even look back. Well, now we can use that cable, hopefully. We were trying to do that picture putting together, but I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I think I need a hint, or maybe I'm just stupid. But like, I don't... Oh, is this a corner piece now that I think about it? I see a little corner here. Alright, we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna go see if we can turn the power on. Okay, corner and side pieces first. No, yes. I'm not, I can't, I don't think I have the patience to do that. I was doing that for a few minutes. And I think I need a hint to maybe see what it was before. I could be wrong though. That door is locked, I can't get in there. This is the main hallway. Wish those pieces were numbered. Exactly, it also really sucks because it makes you scroll through them with the mouse wheel. But like, I can't, I wish I just could just hover over the ones I want to pick up. Instead of like scrolling through them with the mouse wheel. Okay, so I think. Maybe I can combine that, yeah. Now with the broken handle we got from the generator, I walk past the generator. I found the replacement. Okay. There we go. Thank God. That was the bare minimum of light. I've seen better car lights. Oh. oh, this is a puzzle. Oh, fuck. Oh. Mm. I think I should explore the other room first. Also, what is this question? Oh, is this asking me if I want to stick my hand through the grate? It's 
shattered glass, just like roll up your sleeve and just like hit it. <sighs> I could try. This might get me killed though. Oh. Damn it, girl. Now I gotta combine something with it. Or does it want me to do it again? I don't know. Wants me to combine something? Okay, we can try... Um, going this way? Before I hit the button on that, I want to see what's this way because it looks like I'm going to have to take power away from something else to activate power. So let's first discover what we want to activate power to. It's not getting any power. Okay. Well, then it's my question. It's security, security room first. Gotcha. Oh, a rat. Ratatouille, ratatouille. Someone call Gordon Ramsay. If you have not seen that meme of Gordon Ramsay as ratatouille, you are missing out. Wait, can I do all of them? No, I can only do one. But I have to be very selective of what, what I want. You fucking kidding. Okay, so maybe I do... Maybe I do have to do that puzzle. I'm guessing the key code is gonna be on that. Photograph? Maybe. Because there are literally no other rooms to go to. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's... Let's go make a photo, I guess. Wait, that's the one that's locked. Ah! Shit. everything about that. And now that the power's on, maybe I can read the note. No. Said adrenaline, thank you for existing. Hilarious. It really. Some of the comedy in this game is actually pretty nice. Can't tell if that's a top piece. I believe it is. Okay. Edges. It looks like this might be a. Like, bottom edge. No, it doesn't really line up right. I'm gonna leave it over there for now, though. That's a corner piece. I don't know what corner it is, though. Could be this corner. I really hate the fact that I have to scroll on these. 
That's honestly the most annoying part about this one. That's also a bottom. I think. So I see the table. I think I see part of a foot. Just another part of a foot. No. Yes. What if I flip it this way? No. That's definitely a foot. Can't make out what's on that photo. Definitely not this way. Is that another foot? Eh. That's corner piece. This looks like it goes to a face. You're really giving me like zero information here. I keep thinking this is part of this one, right? Like, part of that's missing. Is this a base piece? Yeah, this one. What is this? impossible to tell. The contrast is so high. This one could be upside down. I don't think it is though. Not too sure. This one I think is a middle piece. Where's the top half of this guy's head? That's the place I should find it, try to find first. Looks like a face for a minute. Ah, this is hard. Yeah, 
All right. We know the picture is a group of docks, some sitting and some standing. Yeah. It looks like this one... Like, where does this go? Up here. And then... Grab this one. This one, I assume, goes on the left-hand side. Or the right-hand side, rather. Well, honestly, this might be a middle piece now that I think about it. And then, like, middle... It looks like an elevator behind him, like a lift. the way this controls so much. I just want to like put pieces over. This goes over here. Okay. I might honestly just look up the answer to this one because this one's gonna this one's gonna be growing. Okay. I was right in putting this one here. This one goes like here, I think. Middle one goes like here. A little bit all together. Piece with the two gen one does have a small top of the head of the guy in the chair sitting in the boat chair. Yeah. I think I have to put that there. This. There. I think. And then... Move this silver. The leg pieces are fine with the way they are. This goes here. This goes underneath it. 
Can't tell what that piece is just yet. Um. This goes here. I think. Oh. There's another guy sitting here. Just go. Oh wait, no, he goes. You go right there. Yeah, you go right here. And then where are your feet? Your feet are somewhere over here. It's this one. Those are your feet. And then where does this one go? Right here, I think. Wait tell. These ones go to you. This tiny piece of the photo goes here. And then there's another man sitting over here somewhere. This is this doesn't look. Ran, hello, Badger. How you doing, lovely? I think this. Wait, this is how it goes. Yeah, there's a hand there. Where's this tiny piece go? This is part of this man's face. Where's this piece go? Been, do been doing okay, pretty sick all day, so taking it easy. I saw that, I was lurking during your stream. I hope you're feeling better. Even if it's just a tiny bit. Okay, so I have definitely have a piece wrong here. Do this photo. There's that one. Need this photo. Hmm. how all this goes. Can I bring this closer? Okay. 
Okay, some of these pieces, I need to bring them closer together. This is right. Like it goes here. Goes here. I think. Yeah. And then there. Somehow. I think this is right. This doesn't feel right, though. Like, what is this supposed to tell me? piece wrong? Is this piece here wrong? Hmm. No, that's right. They line the bottom ones up right. Here feels wrong. Feels wrong, but it looks it's right on the photo. Dock in the end. Uh this one? It's this piece right here that feels wrong. There's a man sitting, like, right here. Did I rotate that one? Oh, that's right. I'm just gonna an angle. 
There it is. Oh. From highest to lowest, the seven numbers are in the photo. Wait, what? From highest to lowest, seven numbers are in the photo. Does that mean the keypad isn't from highest to lowest? Like seven downwards? What that means? Um, I see that thing from highest to lowest, the seven numbers are in the photo, so seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I had to allow us the seven numbers are in the photo. I don't understand that. Seven numbers are in the photo. Ah. <laughs> what? Why is the world? That I don't everyone understand that. There are seven men in the photo, maybe ages. But there would be no way of knowing the photo than ages. Maybe rank in a job, that's also true. That could be it. Hmm. Try and think. <gasps> oh. I get it now. I get it. I get it. Okay. Eh. Rotate. So, you're never gonna get it. I had to look this lot up. I was never gonna get this. I had to look it up. It corresponds... The top part of the picture where it has the writing... People standing, people sitting, doctors, patients, people of. It goes by how many mustaches there are, how many people sitting, and how many people have glasses. That is the most cryptid shit I have ever seen. What? Yeah, I would have never got that. Answer is seven, six. Four. Three, 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 one. Fuck you, puzzle. That's weird. It is. Glasses and mustaches, really? 
I can't even see their mustaches. But if it goes by order of people standing... People sitting, people standing, mustaches, glasses, white outfits, and then black outfits. That's wild to me. Oh, what the fuck. Cutscene is never anything good. Today's session with Ariadne was by far the most productive to date. Okay. Not because of the conversation we had. Yeah, the pictures in the letter. Used to adhere to the usual extravagant patterns, but because today she asked to get her things back, which led me to a surprising discovery. Down in the storage room, I was convinced I would not find any of the belongings taken from her when she was admitted, but there was nothing further from the truth. There was a diary and a music box. Oh god, don't listen to the music box. Ariadne, I quickly browsed through the diary, which apparently belonged to her father. And that's where it gets interesting. After years of researching paranormal phenomena, Argus Legrand's investigation led him to the Abbey of St. Cecilia, where a cursed concert had supposedly... That's the chapter we just took. After spending that we did. a considerable amount of money, he got his hands on the only remaining sheet music from the concert and convinced an acclaimed musician to play the music one more time. The new cursed concert would take place on a steamer that would sail down the Rhine a few weeks later, and both Legrand and his assistants would be there to contemplate the true effects of the song. After the concert, the tycoon wrote the following in his diary. Those ignorant, illiterate fools. I can only laugh at their curse and their stupidity. Uh -huh. The only misfortune that damn song has brought is a hole in my bank account. Alas, at least I take the melody with me. If only he knew. I will have it recorded and play it each day for my family. Ha! Those drunk, lazy bastards. Their misfortune was caused by their own stupidity and... Oh, that's how the music box the happened. The blame on a song is yet another sample of their total lack of culture. Argus Legrand never knew that the steamer suffered a strange accident just hours after yep. he got off that killed everyone on board. And everyone that misses into the music dies. Changed. They did indeed change. I can't believe it. Daniel wasn't exaggerating. This is much worse than I ever imagined. You listen to the music, you die either instantly or slowly go mad to the point where you either kill yourself or you die of starvation. Oh. The fuck was that? Really stuck. I can't open from here either. That's why the padded cells are. It's horrendous. No, I don't want to go down there. Perfect. At least I could fit into my skates. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Oh. Uh, well, we can either go down the staircase or to this room to the right. Or up the staircase, rather. Well, I'll try to open this and it's going to tell me I can't open it, right? Wait, what was it? Uh. Film projections. Projector still works. It's like an auto visual documentation. I see. I can open it. I'm gonna open that. You can hide here. It's a map. 
mannequin. I thought it was something else. I need to get that and then put it on this. But I don't have anything. Which makes me think it's upstairs. But unfortunately, I am out of time for today. So, sorry everybody, but it looks like we're ending the stream here. Apologies. We will finish episode 5. Possibly tomorrow. So. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we're going to raid out to a fellow Dragon Squad member. We're going to raid out to the lovely Andy Pandy. If the peanut butter in a Reese's could talk to the child. Oh my god, this advertisement. Oh my god! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. SDE. That Patrick emote is one of my emotes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Patrick emote, yes. All right, we're gonna raid out to Andy Pandy. Uh, she is currently playing the forest. Oh, so that's another survival. It's a survival horror game. I have played that before on stream. So we're gonna raid out Andy Pandy nine to four. She's an absolute sweetheart. Thank you guys for watching tonight. I appreciate you all. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Let's go spread some love to absolute cutie who's on our Dragon Squad team. Alright. Bye guys. <laughs>